In this video, we are going to see the remaining dog breeds that are safest for kids. If you haven't seen the previous video, please watch the previous video and come back to this video. We will give part 1 video card on top. Let's jump into the video. Chinook Chinook breed was developed by polar explorer Arthur Treadwell Walden during the early 1900s on his farm in Wanalance at New Hampshire. Their average lifespan is about 12 to 15 years. They may grow up to 21 to 27 inches in height and weigh up to 25 to 32 kilograms. At a glance, you know Chinooks weren't built for lying on the sofa watching General Hospital with Grandma. They're calm, people-oriented dogs with a special feel for children. These tawny-coated, no-frills workers are muscular and substantial, with males standing as high as 26 inches at the shoulder. Females, with their distinctly feminine look, are a bit smaller. Chinooks were conceived as dual-purpose haulers, with the power of freighting dogs and the speed of sled racers. They're the picture of stout-hearted dignity, with a kindly twinkle in their dark almond eyes. It's amazing that dogs this smart and lovable were once on the verge of extinction. Happily, the Chinook was brought back from near oblivion by devotees who cherish the breed's many virtues. Chinooks are trainable, eager workers who aim to please. Sledding, carting, obedience, agility, search and rescue work, and herding are a few pursuits they've mastered. Still a pretty rare breed, Chinooks aren't easy to come by. But their fans say they're worth the search. Collie The origin of the Collie also known as the Scottish Collie, the prototypical sheepdog, is wrapped in mystery. Even the origin of the name Collie is unknown, but it may derive from the Gaelic word for useful. Their average lifespan is about 14 to 16 years. They may grow up to 22 to 26 inches in height and weigh up to 23 to 34 kilograms. It is an active, lithe, strong dog that combines strength, speed, and grace. They are great at understanding human moods and they are very fond of children, making them ideal family pets. They have historically been and continue to be beloved family companions. Its gait suggests effortless speed as well as the ability to change speed and direction instantly, as required in herding dogs. The coat can be of two types, both with a soft, abundant undercoat. The outer coat of the smooth variety is short, hard, and flat, that of the rough variety is straight, harsh, abundant, and long, particularly on the mane and rough. Its expression is an important hallmark of the breed and depends upon the shape and balance of the skull and muzzle, as well as the characteristics of the eyes and ears. It should be bright, alert, and intelligent traits accentuated by a fairly refined head. Collies are impressive dogs, friendly, highly intelligent, proud, and beautiful. They require daily exercise and human interaction to be happy. Gentle training is all that is required for a collie to learn easily and quickly. English Setter The English Setter is an elegant and athletic hunting dog with the ability to run tirelessly at a good pace. As the name implies, the breed originated in England and may have been a trained bird dog for 400 years. The Spaniel is considered the rootstock of the breed. Their average lifespan is about 10 to 12 years. They may grow up to 23 to 27 inches in height and weigh up to 20 to 36 kilograms. Those from conformation lines are particularly laid back and gentle and excel with children and less active adults. This is an amiable, easygoing breed that gets along well with children, strangers, and other dogs. Its trot is ground covering and effortless, with the head held proudly and a lively tail. The combination of good looks and hunting ability makes the English setter a perfect gentleman's hunting companion. They tend to hold their tails straight up when on point. Bred to cover a lot of areas when hunting, the English setter is a lively dog that loves to hunt and run. This is especially true of dogs from field lines. If not given sufficient exercise, they can be overly lively inside. With daily exertion, however, they are calm and tractable house dogs. Golden Retriever Originating in the Scottish Highlands in the late 1800s, the Golden Retriever was developed by Lord Tweedmouth. First developed by crossing the original yellow flat-coated retriever with the now extinct Tweed Water Spaniel. It is a medium size to a large, well-balanced dog with a distinctive golden-colored coat, small, drop ears. Their average lifespan is about 10 to 12 years. They may grow up to 20 to 24 inches in height and weigh up to 25 to 36 kilograms. A golden retriever is friendly, calm, compliant, and compatible with people and other dogs. They are particularly good with children. Its friendly temperament is reflected in his kindly expression. It is a powerfully built dog, with a good nose for tracking, a soft mouth, and an eagerness to learn. The correct ratio of the length of the body to height is 12-11. It is a dog without exaggeration. 
It should be evaluated as a working gun dog, and exaggerations or faults should be penalized in proportion to how much they interfere with the dog's ability to work. The breed's most readily identifiable characteristic is its rich, lustrous golden color. Another essential characteristic is the proper temperament. Irish Setter The Irish Setter is a working gun dog that was developed in Ireland. The breed was probably developed by using a combination of Spaniels, other Setters, Pointers, and the Irish Terrier. Among the most breathtaking of dogs, the Irish Setter's beauty is in part the result of necessity. Their average lifespan is about 12 to 14 years. They may grow up to 24 to 28 inches in height and weigh up to 25 to 34 kilograms. It's elegant, yet substantial build enables it to hunt with speed and stamina. It is an amiable breed, eager to please and be part of its family's activities. It is good with children but can be too rambunctious for small children. Its build is slightly longer than tall, giving ample room for movement without interference between fore and hind legs. The rich mahogany color is just beautiful. The Irish setter was bred to be a tireless and enthusiastic hunter, and it approaches everything in life with a rollicking, good-natured attitude, full of gusto and fervor. Given a daily outlet for its energy, it makes a pleasant companion. Without ample exercise, it can be overly active inside or become frustrated. It is less popular as a hunter than the other setters. Kishand the Kishand is a member of the Spitz family and is of the same stock as the German Spitz, probably being a direct descendant of the German Wolf Spitz. It is a square proportion, sturdy dog of northern type. Their average lifespan is about 12 to 14 years. They may grow up to 16 to 19 inches in height and weigh up to 15 to 20 kilograms. It makes a good companion for a child or adult. It is friendly to all but, nonetheless, an alert watchdog. It is sensitive and learns readily. It is an all-purpose dog, a generalist rather than a specialist, and its build reflects this. The gait of the Kishand is distinctive, clean, bold, and brisk, with only slight to moderate reach and drive. It has a long straight harsh outer coat standing off from its body, a good mane, and a thick downy undercoat all imparting superb insulation from cold and damp weather. The Kishand combines many traits of the best house dogs, fairly energetic and playful, very attentive and loving, and ready for an adventure yet content to take it easy. Labrador Retriever The ancestor of the Labrador Retriever was the St. John's Retriever, a smaller version of the Newfoundland. These dogs were brought to England, probably on fishing boats. The Labrador Retriever is a medium to a large-sized, short-coupled, powerfully built dog with a short, dense, water-resistant coat. Their average lifespan is about 10 to 12 years. They may grow up to 21 to 24 inches in height and weigh up to 25 to 34 kilograms. They are noted for their excellent temperaments. This breed is friendly, outgoing, and eager to please. Balance, outline, intelligence, temperament, and movement are of overriding importance. It is a breed of moderation, thoroughly sound, and willing and able to do its work. It is a dog without exaggeration, so light, witty dogs, long, low station dogs, and cloddy, lumbering dogs are to be equally penalized. It is an enthusiastic hunter with a good nose and a soft mouth. They excel in all performance activities. Another essential characteristic of the Labrador Retriever is the short, dense, double coat that protects the dog when retrieving from water. They are extremely intelligent and easily trained to perform a variety of complex tasks. Newfoundland The Newfoundland, commonly called New for Newfie originated in Newfoundland, Canada, descending from a mix of indigenous breeds with either Viking dogs or the Mastiffs of Portuguese fishermen. Their average lifespan is about 9 to 12 years. They may grow up to 25 to 29 inches in height and weigh up to 45 to 68 kilograms. It is a large, heavy bone, powerful dog that is strong enough to pull a drowning man from rough seas and imposing enough to make an effective guard dog. The breed was memorialized in Nana, the beloved guardian dog in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan. They are wonderfully good with children, but small children can get accidentally leaned on and knocked down. It is slightly longer than it is tall. Its gait gives the impression of effortless power, with good reach and drive. Its soft expression reflects its benevolent and dignified temperament. It is known for its calm and docile nature and its strength. They are highly loyal and make ideal working dogs. It is for this reason that this breed is known as the Gentle Giant. International Kennel Clubs generally describe the breed as having a sweet temper. It typically has a deep bark and is easy to train if started young. 
Newfoundland in general is good with other animals, but its size can cause problems if it is not trained. They are ideal companions in the world of therapy and are often referred to as the nanny dog. Russian Svetnaya Bolanka The Russian Svetnaya Bolanka was originally discovered after the fall of the Iron Curtain in Russia but can be traced back to as early as the 18th century. Their average lifespan is about 12 to 16 years. They may grow up to 7 to 11 inches in height and weigh up to 2 to 5 kilograms. The Bolanka bodily formation resembles a square, with a long coat that has big wavy curls. The Bolanka is moderately boned and should never appear fine boned. The breed is known for its soft, wavy to curly coat in a variety of colors. Similar to other Bichon breeds, Bolanka does not shed. That Svetnaya Bolanka is even tempered, intelligent, friendly to all, and should never be shy or show aggression of any kind. The Russian Svetnaya Bolanka was specifically developed as a companion dog and is prized for its sociable, easygoing and affectionate temperament. However this breed was bred with a strong tendency to defend its territory and its favorite humans, so it can become a fairly good watchdog. The Bolanka won't be able to apply to necessary aggression when the situation calls for it and shouldn't be tasked with the responsibilities of a guardian. Soft-coated Wheaton Terrier The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier is an old breed, probably of over 200 years. It is one of the terriers of Ireland and most likely shares common ancestors with the Kerry Blue and Irish Terriers. Their average lifespan is about 12 to 15 years. They may grow up to 17 to 20 inches in height and weigh up to 14 to 20 kilograms. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier is an all-around dog, square proportioned, graceful and strong, not exaggerated in any way. It is good for children and usually good with other household dogs and pets. It may dig or jump. It is large enough to function as a general farm worker yet agile enough to perform its job as a vermin exterminator. Its gait is free and lively with good reach and drive, the tail held erect. Its abundant, soft, single coat distinguishes it from all other terriers. It is long and silky with a gentle wave. The overall appearance is one of grace and strength in an alert and happy dog. The Wheaton makes a playful companion at home and a fun-loving partner in the field. It is affectionate, congenial, and much gentler than most terriers. It is generally responsive to its owner's wishes but can be headstrong at times. Spanish Mastiff The Spanish Mastiff has long been used to guard the Merino livestock as they are moved from one pasture to another. In ancient times he often accompanied them on his own, without guidance from a shepherd. The Spanish Mastiff is a very large and powerful dog, similar in appearance to the other Mastiff breeds. Their average lifespan is about 10 to 12 years. They may grow up to 28 to 35 inches in height and weigh up to 52 to 100 kilograms. They have a large powerful head and serious and vigilant expression. It has small eyes and drops ears resembling triangles. This dog's coat is most often fawn colored, but can also be brindle, black or wolf colored. Reddish tones indicate miscegenation. This noble giant is aloof, dignified, calm and intelligent. It is devoted to its family and may politely accept strangers if it has been socialized properly, although it will be wary of them. It can be aggressive toward other dogs. It is a wonderful protector of its home and family. And an ideal protector of herds and flocks from wolf predation. Once the trainer has established the dog's respect as a leader, the Spanish Mastiff will be an extremely loyal pet. Weimaraner The Weimaraner originated in the early 19th century in Germany. It was conscientiously developed and bred to maintain its physical and mental characteristics, and jealously guarded. The ideal dog was one that possessed courage, speed intelligence, and a well-developed scenting ability. Their average lifespan is about 10 to 12 years. They may grow up to 22 to 24 inches in height and weigh up to 23 to 32 kilograms. The Weimaraner is built to hunt with great speed and endurance and combines grace, stamina, raciness, and an alert demeanor. It functions best with an active owner who enjoys outdoor activities and wants a fun-loving companion. It has aristocratic features, with a kind expression and it can be stubborn or headstrong. The gait is smooth and effortless. The short sleek coat is noted for its unique grey color. The Weimaraner is bold and rambunctious, sometimes too much so for small children. It loves to run and hunt and can become frustrated and destructive if kept penned up. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please do like, share, and comment on this video. If you want to see a video like this then subscribe to our channel.